In the prelude to this adventure, you and your companions journeyed with Samwise and Rosie's teenage sons to raid a goblin dungeon. The raid was going well until one of your companions triggered a magical pressure plate that blocked the exit to the dungeon with an impassable stone wall. Exploring the remainder of the dungeon revealed the secret passage twisting downward and a portal to another realm. The party chose to proceed down the secret passage. The twisting staircase descends at least the distance of two football fields before leveling out suddenly to a wide platform. The ceiling had started very low and had forced you and your companions to crouch at several points during your descent. As you arrive at this stony platform covered with dust and dirt and rocks, you see that the ceiling ascends so high into the air that you cannot see the roof of the cave. Looking high into the air, you see blankets of spider webs covering the ceiling like how leaves cover a tree. The white webs are thick, sticky, and twitching as if something were touching it. On the ground, right in front of you, is a cocoon. Inside the cocoon, you see a mummified human. His dried, dusty face is twisted into a permanent scream of horror and pain. His arms wrap around his body in the fetal position, as if trying to pr protect himself. It's obvious he failed. You see dozens and dozens of large, spear-sized holes ripped into his broken body. A large hole the size of a watermelon has cleaved his head open and his brains are missing. The human is wearing strange clothes that are unlike anything you have seen, ever seen. Um, I want the party to discuss amongst yourselves and choose a fantasy movie, fantasy game, or fantasy book this human might have come from. You decide. There are so many white webs blocking your vision that all characters have their vision reduced to a maximum of 30 feet. Torches or dark vision will not help you. No one can ride any horses in this cave system except in this main chamber. In addition, each of the passageways leading out of this platform have a ceiling made of webs. The webs extend upward as far as you can see. The webs cover the side walls and threads hang from the ceiling. The threads are twitching. All right, now I would like each character to introduce, uh, each player to introduce their character. We will start with uh, Alpha, and then we'll go with Can Can, Game Knight, just go uh, in the order outlined at the bottom left. Alpha, when you're ready, please proceed. Oh, folks, the name's Silas. I come from the south, but I've been tracking these goblins for ages. Are you whippersnappers on the same hunt? I'm a cleric. Oh yeah. Great, great introduction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you gain a point of inspiration. Can can. Oh, nice. When you're ready, can can, we'll go with uh, your introduction. Oh God. Um... Not sure whether I should just read my backstory again because yeah. I already read it the last session. But yeah, feel free, read a read a short version of it, whatever you want. I'm just gonna save myself the embarrassment and read read, read the backstory again. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> the bards tell stories of heroes. They sing of their feats and their accomplishments. That is the natural order of things. But who says the bard can't be both the storyteller and the hero of legend? Lucien Rivery was a self-proclaimed chronicler who traveled the lands, recording biased manipulations of local stories and spinning them to near indistinguishability to add, as he would often put it, a bit of pizzazz. His stories often gathered a lot of flack from peasant and noblemen alike, leading to him being chased out of many settlements. Fortunately, as a learned fellow of the College of Swords, he was able to fend off all attempts at his life with room for mockery to spare. 
Since then, Lucien has adopted a new alias, Tailmink, and embarked on a new journey as an adventurer, with the goal of forging his own legend above legends, solidifying his name not only in the annals of history, but also in the tongues of his fellow bards. Oh god. Alright, well done. Game night. You gain a point of inspiration, Ken Ken. Yep. Well, writing. Um, our character's name is uh, Nicholas, uh, often refer often called Cipher. Um, he is a an honest in quotes businessman who, after crawling his way from the uh, mud and uh, in the back streets of Blue Harbor, managed to use his uh, intellect in order to find a way to make a living. Um, his goals, as ever, are relatively simple. Uh, well, as, and, uh, as, as well as the fame and power that's usually, that usually accompany them. Uh, and though he tries to be, yeah, to keep his uh, practices straightforward and honest, he is, he's not above a little, uh, he's not above getting his hands dirty, if, if, that, if it is the best means to the end that he uh, seeks. Okay, well done. You gain a point of inspiration. Henry, can you introduce your character for us, please? Holding a torch in one hand and a lion emblazoned shield, there's a man who is not particularly tall or handsome. He wears the coat of plates, vertical strips of steel sewn together and worn on torso over mail. It is not a full plate harness, but it is more expensive than the armor of a common soldier. On his head, the man wears a polished steel helm with its visor raised. His eyes are crafty, and he has arched, cunning eyebrows. Well met, Silas. We were here to loot and fight goblins, but now we are merely trying to escape and protect these children. He points to the halflings in the back, who wear mail, before giving a soldier's salute. I am Remishton, traveling man-at-arms. I am loyal to the coin, and I help those in need. Do be careful, these dungeons are dangerous. There is talk of unsavory spiders that prey on travelers such as yourself. And you in the back, would you be so kind as to keep an eye on my horse? Uh, you talking about Iris? Oh no, Alton. He's the group as a whole. Yeah. As part of his introduction. To oh. signify that he is the one with the horse. Okay, gotcha. Well done. Uh, good. Um, you have three inspiration. Do you want to gift it to anyone? Yes. Okay. I've gifted one to Can Can. Okay, Landred, can you please uh, introduce yourself when you're ready? He's the last of his tribe. They were attacked in the night by creatures that resembled wolves, bears, and boars but seemed to act as one, almost like a hive of bees. They destroyed his camp, slaughtered all of his cl clansmen, then disappeared. They left no tracks, no dead of their own, or s no signs of even having been there, except all of his tribesmen's bodies. Since then, he's been surviving as a nomad in the outskirts of various townships. When he's not hunting and trapping, he can be found at the nearest tavern, attempting to drown his nightmares. Some nights are worse than others, and that's when his beast takes over, reliving the horrors of that night and fighting the ghosts of the past in the vain hopes of saving just one other life. Typically, he works alone or in temporary hunting parties, but re recently he's found some mutual kinship in a group of adventurers. It's nice to find others that can carry their own weight. Okay, very nice. You gained a point of inspiration. By God, can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, Silas. That is a fairly odd accent you have, but nonetheless, I introduce you to our group. I am Ortegon, fair and honorable knight of Lady Lunetta, and as you can see, we are guarding these children, just as Ramishkin said. I look forward to working with you. Okay, well done. You gain a point of inspiration. Sleepy, can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, my name is Cirque. I'm an elf from a uh, village in the mountains to the north. I was raised uh, in a village that was protected by dragons, and I bear the ability to summon a, dra well, a drake, Iris. 
She never leaves my, leaves my side, and I use her to go and protect everyone around me. Okay, well done. You gained point of inspiration. Um, that is going to be all from here. You guys can have a brief conversation to introduce yourselves, and then you guys can take it from there. Um... So, Silas, you say that you've uh, come to fight goblins. Well, it seems that we're, we've run a little bit out of goblins, and the door is sealed. We cannot escape without going forward. It wasn't my fault. I see. Is there uh, something we could do to cut the, the, the webs? Or should we burn it? Hmm, fire is tempting, but I'm afraid the smoke may suffocate us. Indeed, that is a likely uh, scenario, given that we know of only one uh, way out of this place, which would also be the path of least resistance for uh, the fumes. That's How not do you find the movement? The movement of these webs is quite unnerving. I believe there may be creatures approaching us as we speak. I'm going to uh, try to listen and see if I can... I'm standing still for a moment and cocking my head, trying to hear the sounds of enemies approaching. Yeah, roll me perception check disadvantage. Uh, while I do that, can I check if there's uh, anything over in this little pocket behind us? Yeah, right there. sure thing. Um, you don't see anything, it's just webs. And with the perception check, you don't really hear anything, Remission. Just you do sense the twitching on the. You don't see the twitching on the webs. You have a torch lit, I think, because you don't have dark vision. Yes. But you can see the some of the webs twitching here and there, threads like strings on a harp. Could I perception check to see if I see a monster? If if you you can do what? Can I prepare second flame if I see a monster? Yeah, sounds good. You have ready to action, your sacred flame, any monster that you see. Yes, thank you. Although I believe that usually when combat breaks out, we roll for initiative and that... Uh, oh yeah, that that, that, that would be the case, yeah. Like take it's just basically... Ready to outside of combat. Uh, oh, so it, uh, it wouldn't act as a surprise round, it would have to act as my action? Well, if you catch them by surprise, yeah, yes. you would you would be able to do the sacred flame. Okay. Uh, in in the flavor of the game, you can imagine that your character is on the ready, like prepared to cast that. But in terms of action economy, you won't get to take a free free action unless we actually surprise them. Yeah. And then there is oh. Welby. There's Welby. There's Alton, Roscoe, the four kids. These are teenage halflings, the sons of Samwise and Rosie. Samwise is a dear friend of the party, known you guys from way way back, and so these guys. They are actually wearing chainmail, so they're quite heavy right now, <laughs> uh, and of shield that, Rich which, which is protecting them, given them given to them by Remishton, and they're kind of lugging them along. They also have wooden swords, uh, kind of like a baton. And they have big old shields too. Yeah. This this yeah, is getting see, the children of a friend. Yeah. Well, we like okay. Who's the uh, Alton? Who's what does Alton have? Alton says, this is getting really scary. You know, in the books that I read before, it didn't mention this being so horrifying. And why did that guy have his, like, head blown off? Uh, he points at the cocoon. Because... I'm going to go move up to Alton. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a knee. Um, That's uh, the unfortunate... Uh, side of adventuring that people don't really talk about. Uh, sometimes uh, the monsters win. Uh, and and that's, they that's, eat that's your brains. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's what happens. That's why we have to fight extra hard or run away extra fast. Yeah, I, I brought my fame. I brought my favorite book. Alton says. I think afterwards we could record our names onto it. Be a nice story to tell. That's perfect. That's the main character. 
Um, Silas uh, moves over here. Thank you, Lord of God, he says. Mm-hmm. Uh, Silas moves over here. Is this area, like, um, legit? Is it just for show, or is it legit? Yeah, each of these passageways, you see them. That one is, you have to ascend about 15, 10, 10-ish, 15 feet. And then there's a dark cave that narrows there. That, you know, the party ah. and the horse can could fit through if they want to. You have different options getting out of this wide passageway. This wide passageway is the only place you can ride the horse. It's the only one that you can kind of see going up. Like a grand cathedral. I mean the passageway but to the, the horse, right? Said the, no, said uh, the horse I mean the... I mean the... the ca- the Basically the... the room that you're in right now. All of these passageways you can't ride your horse oh, okay. in. Go ahead. What I was see. that? Uh, you said the horse could fit up here, it just they can't ride it, right? Yeah, you can't ride it, otherwise your head would be in the webs. Let's see. Uh, if I wanted concerned to ask... about Sorry, but if we're concerned about getting the horse through with us, I could always mold the path uh, upwards to one of these bigger ledges so that we can fit the horse through. Oh. That's a good idea. Can someone give me a boost up here? I'm going to see if this passageway is safe for travel. Okay. If Oregon uses the mold earth, yeah, you can definitely make a ramp on each of these. It's no problem getting up. Yep, I'll take a step uh, back and I'll make a small little ramp on both of these ledges. Okay. While they're doing that, that like... can I attempt to make a check or something for, like, pay, watching how the webs are vibrating and trying to tell where they could be coming from? Uh, sure. A disadvantage. It's gonna be... perception. No, 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 it's... I don't even know how you would tell where the wet, like where the vibrations are coming. <laughs> um, well, just like trying to pay attention and seeing like which direction is like vibrating stronger. So whatever. Oh, direction which here, direction they're vibrating well. stronger? Yeah, they're vibrating the strongest to the south. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So we know not to go there. Whatever's alive down here is towards the south. No, I think it might be wise to go towards the vibrations. After all, they probably know we're here, and better to meet them head on than be surprised from behind. And face them on head on. Well, However, if the group disagrees, I'm not married to the course of action. <sighs> Before we go in. We should plan out how we're going to go in so the kids don't get in first. Uh, I wasn't... Marching order, I believe it's called. Yes. Yeah, that sounds uh, like an intelligent thing to do. Are we going to pick a hole to crawl into? <laughs> I'd uh, say we yeah. go with the hole up here. Um... I point to the one over here. I can't ping it, but yeah. That one right there? Okay. So oh. we have two suggested courses of action. We can head into the hole up here, up to the top, uh, I believe, left, or head down to the south where the vibrations are strongest uh, to see whether or not we can meet uh, our enemies. Head on. Well, if you're concerned about getting flanked, I could always close off the passageway with Mold Earth. I was told such spells only worked on soft ground. I do believe. But if you can works. close them off, then by all means, do so. I do believe it works on stone as well. May I attempt it? Oh. Yeah. Uh, so if you use Mold Earth to close the passage yeah you can do that it'll take you at least maybe five ten minutes um you kind of block the passage waves with some loose earth and yeah that's doable if you want uh you may be right it might not be completely sufficient to hold off any larger beasts but better than nothing better than nothing in which character is that speaking? 
E. Ortegon, hello. Ortegon. Ah, my knightly friend. It seems your skills are quite useful. By all means, seal them off. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Indeed. I suppose no harm, no foul. In fact, I can I... try moving the boulder. Can I try moving the boulder over here with a mold earth to block off the passageway with something more secure? I'll push the on it too, too to help. Heavy for you to move, unfortunately. Did I push it? Oh, you I push it. I hope we're not locking anything inside with us. Yeah, if I, if everybody helps you move the boulder, I'm gonna say you can move the boulder, and I'm gonna say that it can block off. It, you obviously can't move it up, like you know, can't carry it 10, 15 feet, but you can block one of the passageways that are on the base on the ground level. Shall we block off the one with the vibrations then? Yep. Yep. I thought we were going uh, down that path. Are we not? I personally well, it seems vote like... for a, a more vertical climb. That way, we have the upper ground. But that's just me. Wait, uh, didn't you say in the previous session that we could feel a breeze coming from this uh, passageway? Yeah, a breeze coming from the uh from from the stairway when you were initially going into it now that you're in this wide room you can't really tell where the breeze is coming from All the right. sense of direction the webs go left the webs go right the breeze is quite muffled that's uh indeed wolf we we don't have enough information to make a uh any uh, adva ad a more advantageous choice? We, we're we're gonna have to pick almost. Uh, we're gonna have to pick at random rather than waste time. After uh, all, the longer we spend here, the more the greater the chance that we will either be ambushed or that our opponents will uh, be able to prepare for our coming. Yes, my well, lord. Uh, that is why point. I assisted in the sealing of this passageway, despite it being my initial choice. Let us go to the northeast, or whichever one that Alice had been scoping out. Uh, very well, then. I agree. Uh, I, if we're trying to go and take this stealthily, uh, I could go and cast Pass Without Trace while we're going through here, just to make sure we won't be, we have a much better chance of hiding from anything. That's, that's a good one. That would be most appreciated. That would be wonderful, my friend. We're carrying torches and walking on webs. I highly doubt we'll remain unseen and undetected. Hey, best to try. Not to mention we're talking. Who's the best <laughs> at sneaking around? Hmm? Who's the best at sneaking around? I'm, that uh, might be dark though. I could cast greater invisibility on you. You could scout ahead. Remember, we won't be able to rest until we're out of this place. So be judicious with your abilities. Yep, that's another thing. I'll be fine. That's, the dungeon has this purple smoke in the air that kind of gives you a, a headache and it blocks your ability to rest. So you cannot short rest or long rest. Okay. I'm not so brave myself, but someone else could crawl through this tunnel first. Yeah, everybody I mean, can walk through it. It's not that. I mean, it's just it's just not that tall. You okay. just can't ride your horse in it. That's all. Okay, Enclosed so spaces make me nervous. Just in case, I can take points since I can uh, ignore difficult terrain whenever I start to run. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go into the passageway. It is filled with webs covering <laughs> the wall to the left, covering the wall to the right, covering the ceiling above you. You can't really see beyond the webs, but the ceiling might be wider and taller than you expect. All right. Uh, then if I can do that, can I, uh, with, I think it's free running, uh, I can take the dash action and it'll allow me to uh, basically run up and down vertical surfaces. 
So just using that to try and avoid some of the webs and move forward. Okay. As yeah. well as trying to explore it a little bit better. The webs have it pretty much covered, so it's going to be extremely difficult. But uh, let's just roll me acrobatics. All right. All right. He's wall running. Yes. Very dexterous. Right. Uh, normal? Yeah, normal. Yeah, nice. for purposes, you avoid most of the webs. Right. So far, I'm just going to call back and say, so far, besides just a lot of webs, I don't see anything up here. Yeah, Cirque is uh, spouting ahead, so you you don't really see much besides the webs. Just a lot of rocks, a lot of cave system. Ceiling above you is still like a blanket of webs. Is it safe to move up? Wait, so far, you may have to cut through some webs, uh, depending on how thick that is back there. Yeah, I'll use my sword to cut through it. Okay, as you like touch the webs with your sword, you begin hacking at them. The th the webs, the threads begin to vibrate more. Ooh. Are there like any like small spiders crawling around or is it just us? You cannot see any spiders and uh, you don't need to cut the webs to get through if you don't want to. Uh, I'll still cut through it. Okay. You, as you cut more and more, the threads vibrate more and more. That doesn't seem good. I'll be the last one behind the kids so that nothing could sneak up on us. Okay. Um, Thank you. A rear guard is imperative to surviving in the dungeons. Uh, someone could someone move the kids along as well. You have control of the kids. And then for Iris, I think only um, only Cirque has control of her. Yeah, right now I just uh, her instructions were to stay next to the kids at all times. Oh, I, I understand that. Let me. Um, but uh, I'm just saying that I need to pay attention to the story. So if you could kind of move the token along as well. Yeah. Is there a way to move all the kids at once? Oh yeah, you can move the kids. You just, only, only only you only Sir can move Iris. You have, only have control of that token. All right, Sir, you have uh, you see something in to the right of you. It looks like in front of you uh, there is a large hole that descends into a chasm to your right. A thick, large web covers the hole. You, don't, you can't see it, but it's a little bit farther down. Um, you, you can't see it on the battle map, but your character does see it a little bit farther down. You smell an updraft of salty water from the chasm and the rhythmic splashing of running water. You cannot see the water, but you hear it. All right, uh, it's a hole, so I'm pretty sure I have torches. So can I take a torch, light it, and throw it down the hole? Okay, uh, so you're <laughs> you're going to toss the flaming torch into the webs? Is that what you're doing? Kids uh, please do not. Oh, we will all burn to death very quickly. Oh. Uh, Roscoe and Alton are stuck in a wall. I'm just stuck in the wall forever now. Yeah, I, I, I was connecting I all of the kids with me, and then mm -hmm. someone took the kids, and then it severed a connection, so my player got stuck, so I'm reloading. Okay. Oh. They're moving now, they're outside. Yep. Got it. All right, them out. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Oh, uh, right, thank you. Ortegon, since you're the next closest behind me, I'm just going to turn to him and be like, I can hear water down here. It sounds like there might be a way out. Um, I could investigate it, but uh, I think it would be best if like, I tied a rope to myself and maybe handed off part of it to one of you, yes. just in case. Yes, I think that's reasonable. Uh, I can hold on tightly, and we could secure it to some, some sort of rock or something around here as well. Oh, uh, I I have some uh, pythons, uh, hot climbing kit. We could uh, secure it to that. Sounds good. So All right. Once we get everything situated, e 
since it still gives me full movement using free running again to take the dash action and just start like running down the wall once the rope and everything is secured okay uh yeah make me another acrobatics check all right stay safe circ Nineteen. Yeah, so you're going down, and you're able to make it down, no problem. But you do touch a lot of the webs. Eventually, you get to this like blanket of webs. Like, uh, imagine if you look, if you have a bed in your room right now, you look over, and the webs are as thick as that blanket. Uh, below it, you hear the water, and it's much louder now. Uh, is there any like light source, or uh, can I tell how fast the water is moving, or anything like that? You cannot see the water. You can. It's pretty loud though, uh, but it's not moving that much. It's like a like a small stream, kind of sound. Underground. All right. Okay. And then I uh, probably climb back up and just let everybody know about that. Like we might be able to find an escape down there, but the webs are incredibly thick. We are not getting past out without alerting everything. I mean, I have a method that doesn't involve burning them or cutting them, but it it, it is a it would take a bit of time, depending on how thick the, the, those webs really are. Uh, looks thick enough. It could probably catch. Charger, Ortegon, and Remy all jumping into it. Ah, okay then. Yeah, it, w- it would take... Yeah, it would be best to explore our other options first. Yeah. Hey, Remishton, for the purposes of this adventure, I'm going to say that Charger is always kind of with you, but I'm not going to... I don't want to... His token might be getting... <laughs> tough to move around. Okay. Gotcha. I'm leading Charger close behind. I'm also gonna do that for Alton, Wobby, so we don't have to lug them around. But they're they're always gonna be where you want them to be. They're pretty scared right now. Oh yeah, thank you, Austin. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing much. Oh, you see another cocoon, Cirque. Same thing as before. Spear-like. Holes in in the in this dead person. It's a human, same kind of attire as the last person. You guys haven't defined who that person looked like, but you can do that at another point. Um, and you know another watermelon-sized hole in their brain, with uh, all their brains missing. And is there water in this place? Is that the water that is being described? That means that you can hear the sound of water down that chasm. And uh, Cirque was just saying ah, how I there's see. a blanket of webs down there. I have heard thing. there are underground rivers. Just because it sounds like water doesn't mean it leads to freedom. Indeed. Alright, there's another hole there, but it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. It's just a dark little crevasse. Alright. Alright, Cirque, in front of you is like a wall of webs. It looks like the entire passageway is blocked. There's no way around it. There's no way through it. You're going to have to decide what to do about this wall of webs. You can see there's a room to the other side of it, so it's not that thick. I might have a way through it. It doesn't involve hacking and flashing it to pieces. Here, God. Puns. Oh, my. Is there a way I to talk in all chat? Huh? Is there a way to talk in the chat? Uh, um. Yes, if you click on your token yeah. and then uh, type it in, then it will post it as your character saying it. Oh, okay, great. Uh, the puns. Okay, um... I have... Let me see, let me post the ability right here 
If you guys are having lag troubles, please lower the performance. Like, go to 30 frames, go to low performance mode. Ah, uh, yes. I always forget to do that, but it's incredibly helpful, and in the past, it's really made it work better for me. Um, Man, I'm, I'm at those. So, pretty much, if I, I, want, I, I could spend 10 minutes uh, to determine its age and weak points, possible clues. So pretty. So basically, after once it, after that that ten minutes, I can then use. Um, is it? I think I have something else. Acid. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'd be able to use uh, the uh, alchemical jug that I have to produce some enough uh, some acid to melt through the webs rather than cutting through them. Okay. And since uh... I've been. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, that's a nice, creative way of giving you a point of inspiration. The alchemical jug kind of melts through the webs. It takes quite a bit of time, though, maybe five, ten minutes. On the that's other side, you can now proceed through the webs. Yeah, you see a lot of cocoons. Oh my, oh. there's a lot of bodies. There's a lot of bodies. Must be the feasting room. Coons left and right, brains split open, spear like uh, holes in all the bodies. These cocoons, have been, these pe the people in these cocoons have long since died. Mm. I uh, think this might just be their dining room. Inside of this room, the cave walls ahead of you look different than what you have seen in the past. The walls are usually held together with a thick blanket of sticky webs. The walls in front are riddled with cracks and fissures. The webs are sparse and thin, as loose thread as a loose thread that you would find on your pants or your shirt. So essentially, the archway in this room is not that doesn't have that many webs at the top. At the bottom, there are plenty of webs. There's plenty of webs holding the cocoons, but at the top, there isn't that much. Uh. Also, uh, something shiny catches your eye. Because there aren't that many webs uh, above you, looking up into the dense blanket of webs, which are a bit less dense right here, you spot a large cocoon holding what appears to be magical items 20 feet above you inside the webs it's hard to tell what items uh, what the items look like from the distance because there are a lot of webs in the way the cocoon is wrapped in a dense bundle of webs just like a cocoon it might be possible to climb the webs to grab the cocoon well probably either keep doing what I've been doing and just run up there and try and rip it down or we could try and take a shot at it and we could just knock it down okay you would have to have to climb through some of the webs to get to it you can't free run all the way up do you still yeah. want to try yeah okay give me acrobatics one of the things I'm very good at oh. all right is that the role you want to take? I'm going to take inspiration because that ain't great. <laughs> no. Is that the role you want to wow. take? Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> hold on just a second, uh, <laughs> sir. <laughs> um, I ain't doing too hot in this room. <laughs> I'm panicking a bit. Uh, that, if, if I can give him an inspiration to just uh, cancel so that yeah. he doesn't <laughs> do that. Yeah, sir. Uh, what what is the uh, cost? I think it's like two times or three times. Let's find out. Uh, it I think it's two in the rules of God. Yep, two times. So, okay. You give him one point of inspiration. It costs you two. Cool. Uh, I have something I can do probably. Um rather than run up the webs, I'm going to pull out uh, one of my experimental elixirs. Uh, well, I just rolled for those right now, and one of them provides me uh, flights. 
I gain a flying speed of 10 feet for 10 minutes. Okay. Oh. So I, I'll down that and sim just slowly and carefully floats up through the webs <laughs> rather than uh, touching them in an attempt All right. to I'm going to say this is a stealth check because you're actually just stealthily avoiding the webs, like trying to protect, trying to make it so they can't detect you. All right. There are a lot of webs. It'll be difficult. Uh, you gave me a bardic, uh, Lucy. Yep. Yep. And then Cirque, use you, it uh, if you want. You can re-roll because uh, Nicholas gave you inspiration. Okay. Oh, you want me to re-roll it? Yeah. If you want. Otherwise, you can choose not to accept the. Is that the rule you want to keep? Uh, best roll I got. <laughs> okay. Cirque, free runs up there. Uh, but you kind of get stuck on some of the webs. Uh, let's say your arm gets stuck as you uh, you kind of make a small slip because it's uh, quite... It's quite a. Uh, oh, it's quite difficult to free run in this environment with the webs. So you make a small slip, and you, by instinct, because of your trained free running skills, you take out your right arm and you grab the webs. But as you grab it, the webs take hold of your right arm, and you grabbed well, it because um, you didn't say, want to fall. Hey, Cypher, you look a little stuck up there. No, no, Cirque did. Let oh, go, and I'll catch you. Uh, Cirque oh, got Cirque. stuck. Nicholas is just flying up there. Nicholas needs to roll me a stealth check. Yep. On the way. Is that the roll that you Cirque, want? Is Cirque um, far above me, or is he high, uh, like no, low enough no. that I can grab his legs? All right. Um, did you did you, you gave me that bardic right? And what's your bardic for? It's a D eight. D eight. D eight. Slash. R D eight. Okay. Plus three to make that a uh, twelve, no eleven, and then I'll use flash of genius to push that up to a sixteen. Is that is a sixteen what you want? Uh, I only have one bardic, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save it, save that for the actual fight. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the sixteen. Okay. Let me just use the uh, ability. Like uh, like Superman ascending into the air. You carefully and cautiously get stuck in the webs. It catches your leg. <laughs> you are, each of you guys are about 10 feet away from the cocoon. The cocoon is like 10 feet into the webs. And I, I must ask, why did you not do this as a group effort instead of two separate attempts? Perhaps if you'd remain merged as a unit, you would have succeeded. That might be true. That might be true. Um, uh, can I use Blessing of the Raven Queen to teleport 30 feet towards the cocoon? Of course you can. You will teleport right into the webs. Is that what you want? Oh. You might <laughs> reach the cocoon, but uh, getting out... Can we not just okay. shoot it down? Mm, as you guys are moving left and right, as you're caught in the cocoon, in the webs, the vibrations in the webs begin to become more prominent. How far up are they? Cypher, you look, you look like you're stuck, and I don't want anything to happen to you. You're smarter than I am. Tell me, is there anything I can do to get you down from there? Um, at this moment, no. I can. It's likely that I'll be able to free myself. Uh, but there is. Ah yes, I know what I know what I can do now. <laughs> should have uh, should have just done this from the start. Um. Dark Wolf, okay. you see uh, you see ten d twelve copper pieces on all the copper on all the cocoon bodies. So you can add that to your character sheet. Ten d twelve. How thick is the webbing? up towards uh, the cocoon. It's not too thick. A child could probably crawl through it. It's just the problem is a child would probably, you know, touch oh, their leg on the webs. 
Uh, I, I mean, would I be able to use the uh, blessing to teleport to like the cocoon that's holding everything, and yeah. then whenever it's ready again, use it again to teleport with it back yeah. underneath it? Yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, post the ability. So, I have a ten foot pole. Would that be useful to anybody? <laughs> um, it is ten feet away. If he's gotten, yeah, if he's gotten the uh, a bag, the uh, uh, sorry, the cocoon. Uh, how close am I to uh, Cirque to where Cirque is stuck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can get right there to the bus. You can get right to the cocoon. You'll be in a tangle of webs, though. Um, then would I be able to use it again once I have it to yeah. teleport back out with everything? Yes, uh, well, not with everything, just with, uh, with yourself. Oh. Hmm. The vibrations in the webs are getting much more intense. They're coming from the north and the south. And... I should hurry up. The passageways well, uh, right. leading left and right, these dark little caves. Well, then... Trying to get us back out Nicholas. of here. Uh, can I use Blessing of the Raven Queen to teleport back down to the ground yes. and instruct uh, Iris to yep. fly up and try and help pull Nicholas back down? Yes, Do yes, not, you can. You escape. That's one Iris. use of okay. Blessing of the Raven Queen gone. Okay. All right. Uh, please do not have Iris fly up here. I'll just melt the my. How 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 stuck am I? If it, I'm not I'm not you're resting not, on you're the not web. Super stuck. It's just the leg, right? So. Cool. Uh, I could. I'll. I'll, I'll just uh, on the on the strand that caught me. I'll just pour some more acid on it. Yeah, it's uh, take too long though. It takes many minutes. Oh, I see. Okay then. While my party is struggling, can I go block off this passageway with more stone? Yeah, and, you, you um... try, but you don't have that much time. Uh, Simon uh, will help seeing what he's helpful. trying to do. The vibrations are getting so close. You can tell in less than two minutes something's going to happen. Who, who Nicholas, just there? use your fire. Yeah. I'm, we'll, we will all burn to death. Yeah, I'm well, just... Are you certain this is flammable? Yes, they are flammable, but they're a bit nothing. sticky. So the fire would kind of okay. travel along the webs. I will douse to the two, ed two edges, like... Oh, away from me using my water skin. Just gonna douse like the the the, the webs that I'm not trying to burn it, all around. It's not. Me it's not like skin. a. It's not like a rope. It's like a, a blanket. I mean, so is it like not absorbing the water, or is it that? <laughs> oh no, yeah, it, it, the parts you touch with the water sure are absorbing, but I'm not. I'm telling you right now, it's a blanket. So. Oh yes, yeah, I'm not trying to burn all the webs. I'm I'm saying that the the what the the web that my leg is stuck on is what I'm wetting so that the fire doesn't spread. Okay, sure. Yeah, you try to you try to do that. It's not gonna work. Yeah, uh, you can tell it's not gonna work. Send Iris up there to try and rip him down. Ever, I'll just cut. I'll just cut it. We've we're already got. All right, so Iris I'll goes up there, starts cutting out. it. Roll me a stealth check for Iris. Okay. Not super stealthy for Iris. It's probably gonna Is let that the roll that you want to take? I'll hit him, hit him with a flash of genius, a plus uh, five. That'll give, make put him up to 22. Okay. Uh, 22, you're still going to get stuck. You can t Iris is... <laughs> tell us she's going to get stuck. So she gets stuck on one of the wings. It's it's very, it's a tough it's a tough skill check, guys. I think we. You've already tried to cutting it, right? There. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nicholas, are you yeah, cutting yeah. it? I'm already, yeah, I'm cutting my way. All out. right, so you take your Even dagger, that, I think, what, or what, whatever weapon. What is, what is a weapon? Short, I have a short sword and a hand axe. Okay, so which, hand axe is obviously out. not going to work. So short sword, you're cutting it, you're cutting it, you're cutting it. You cut some of the strands, but down the short sword gets stuck. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. It's cheap as hell. I'll leave it. Okay, you leave the short sword. Get that out of your inventory. Uh, I I managed to cut. So, well, did I manage to cut myself free? 
and then the, uh, an exchange with the short sword or no no you're very close though you can if you use something else you can cut yourself free here i've got a spare dagger take this i'm gonna um i don't know toss the dagger a few feet so he can catch it got it i'll use that to finish the job i'll get rid of one of my daggers Dark Wolf. Uh, you don't see guys. anything. Oh, you don't, you don't see anything, oh, by no? the way. Oh, okay. But you feel something. You feel something reach out with their mind and connect with your consciousness. You can't see whoever is connecting you with you. You feel it. The target must make a DC 15 wisdom saving throw. I'm trying to catch Nicholas if he falls, by the way. Okay. Oh, no, I can fly. Oh. Just... Unfortunately, that's not no, enough. No, no, no. Um. There is. You do have that, uh... You feel you this consciousness few... rip... Rip your consciousness away, and you lose control of your body for a moment. As, uh... As you begin to start running at the wall. Embracing the webs. Now you're stuck. Oh, and no. Consciousness goes away. Continue, everybody. Now, Dark Wolf, you have control of your body again. Well, what were you thinking? Well, thank you. Uh, well, for a moment there, the, the webs looked so inviting and comfortable. Uh, I guess I was just getting a little sleepy. My now the webs directly above everybody in the cavern are vibrating quite intensely. If anyone's planning uh, on trying to get those items... Don't do so. Oh, Let's just um, wait for our friends to join us. I Go think ahead. we should I get our friends in. out the webs first, then concern ourselves with the items afterwards. Yes. That's what I was saying. Silas, were you about to say something? Uh, Silas would like to cast Bless. Um, you can bless up to three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or saving throw, but spell ends, the target... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You press Bless, you can okay. go ahead and cast it on the people. Alright. Remishton. Oh, well, that's... Right you there. feel this... Ooh, this, uh, this presence rip into your mind as you lose control of your body and reaching into um, your arms you uh you you run at this you know see this column you run at that column and you embrace the webs getting stuck you can no longer move um i, I was gonna say uh uh, Remishton is within what was it? Was oh, within si uh, range Silas, when you class bless, go ahead and target the people, the three people that you want to target, um, and it'll automatically Wait. apply the bonus. How do I target? You press and uh, uh, hover yeah. over somebody, press shift, and then press T, and then shift. that'll yeah. let you target like multiple people. Okay, and then where's Dark Wolf? Wolf. Um, so I was going to say before you uh, one person. Uh, did that, I was going to say that I was close enough to Remishton to add uh, a, uh, what's it called, a flash of genius to his role. He was within range for me. So he would have, and I think, sorry, it's not a plus five, it's a plus four, my okay. intelligence modifier. So you do the flash of genius, Remishton, you managed to break free of whatever hold hat got got a hold of you. You do not embrace that web. Cypher, what was that? I think I, I found something of... trying to take control of my mind. Mental attack. Dark these, Wolf, these are the you worst. feel something. The vibrations directly above you getting more and more intense. And for a moment, you see something. Oh, and then you don't see it. Go ahead, continue, everyone. Um, this is getting boring, guys. 
Is Nick still stuck in the webs? Nick uh, is very close no, to getting I cut away. You can probably free him if you just cut him uh, with can... the weapon. One can, more well, uh, can Iris try and bite through them? Because uh, her bite deals cold damage. Would she be able to like freeze and break them like that? Uh, yeah, good idea. We're going to go ahead and give you some inspiration for that. And uh, we'll say that Nicholas is now broken free. And you guys catch him successfully. Well done. Good teamwork. Uh, who was that that gained any inspiration? Uh, that me. was Sleepy. Sleepy? Dragon. Sleepy? Yeah. Gain a prince point of restoration. Does that mean that Nicholas still has my dagger then if he didn't use it? Yeah, he has it. You, Nicholas, you lost your short I'll sword, by it. the way. You gotta get rid of that. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I did. I got rid of it. Well, he begins to rub it. his head. I, I feel funny. And Oh, no. Now, Lucian. You feel Why something. Me? <laughs> you, uh. <laughs> I'm going to run up and grapple Lucian if I see him starting to move in a funny direction. Yeah, you feel your mind being taken. Taken over. Watch this, and watch Cirque, this guys. Watch this. Cirque, are you still up there? No, you're out. Cirque, no, I you, feel, it down. you feel something from the south. You see it for a moment. Just a flash. I mean, maybe you don't see it. Hmm. Maybe, maybe okay. you don't see okay, it. Okay, this is... Uh, that'd be going off of my passive perception. Yeah, you see, you feel something. You see something for a moment, but it, it maybe it's just a trick of the eye. Lucian, you break free of whatever is holding, getting holding your consciousness. You're okay. Go ahead, continue, everybody. Uh, I'm very wise. Um, guys, I'm almost certain that there is something else in here, and it is. I felt it from the south. I feel like we should just leave this room as soon as possible. Yes, quite right. Indeed. We feel um, these, these... I'll know, but Dark Wolf is trapped in the webs. We can't just abandon him. Just cut we him all free. Concerted... Yeah, all of us together should make an effort to cut him loose. Okay, you guys begin cutting him loose. These small little spiders, like a swarm of spiders, they don't look like they're going toward you. Just begin oozing from each of the entrances to this. Also from the holes. I'm gonna say not from the holes, not from the, you know, not from the uh, the darkness here. They're not doing anything. They're Silas. not attacking you. They're just coming out. All right. Silas, the spiders make me uncomfortable. Your radiant fires would not set these webs aflame, would would they? Everyone who's cutting them away, feel free to make a weapon attack. The weapon that you attack with has to be something that actually cuts, so please don't use an axe. Um, if you get less than a certain value, you'll get you know, that weapon will get stuck. Wait, are you saying that axes don't cut? I'm saying that the axe will not cut the webs. <laughs> it's not a log. Uh, dagger will work best. Just... Longsword will work. Short sword, any kind of bladed weapon. Okay. But not an axe. To answer your question, uh, my radiant flame doesn't do fire damage. It does radiant damage, so it would not uh, go up in flames. Actually, maybe I should would let the axe. Would you be willing to happen. annihilate? But those dark wolf, you can me. use the axe because you're kind of you're already stuck in it. I don't know. I just can't see. I can't. I just can't see you cutting it. Like I'm trying to think of like how you would cu like cut away a web with an axe. Well, the axe is a blade, just like a sword, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe you hold it at the, maybe you hold it at the axe head, and then you like use it like a sawing. Yeah, maybe you can cut it with an axe. Sorry. I mean, up to you. You're DM. Yeah, no, that's fine. You can cut yeah. it with the axe if you want. So yeah, Lucian, you cut it a little bit, uh, but with that, the sword kind of gets stuck in there a little bit. So you cut a little bit away from Dark Wolf. You cut away cut. one of his, you know, his head and his arms are out. His head and his right arm are out, but his left arm and his two other legs are still stuck. Uh, my yeah, guys, stuck. can you just before you start acting again? Yeah? Uh, are these uh, <clears throat> excuse me, are these webs magical or mundane? They're mundane. What do you got? Oh. I just walk out of the webs. 
<laughs> okay. You break free of the webs like like a boss. Well done. So badass. Badass. And Can Silas cast Radiant Flame on these spiders? Because it won't go up in flames. Okay. With a squeak, the spiders get eliminated. And the vibrations yeah. get much more intense. They get angry. Remishton? Oh. Well, I think you pissed it off. Remishton, please roll me a wisdom saving throw. Did she just attack me? No, no she attacked the spiders. Yeah. Oh. Silas, could you restrain me? I feel tempted to jump into these no. webs. <laughs> you, don't, you don't even have time to say that as something <laughs> angry takes control of your body. Now. All right. Wait, did, did, getting... wait, did you add the 1d4 as well? You had a 1d4 from yep, the you add that well, I got a zero I on my wisdom like... check. Do you want to yeah, re-roll that one using inspiration? <laughs> I think that would be best. I think that would be best. I mean, uh, you're, you're, okay. you're, you know what happens when our tank gets taken out of the fight first. Well, my wisdom is negative one, so I think it's unlikely I'll succeed. Roll it. I mean, yeah, but you know, we still. Okay. Oh, 18. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're good. Oh, there you're good. Go. All right, I have an idea. Um, since Dark Wolf is uh, not what's it called? Uh, not um, restrained anymore. Let's walk out into the hallway so that we don't get surrounded by all sides from all sides. Afterwards, yeah. I have, uh, like I said, I have a pythons that I could sink into the rock. And if we simply tie ourselves to it, to them, and tie the ropes to the pythons and then ourselves to the ropes, we won't be able to be forced, you know, into the webs. As you say that, the uh -huh, vibrations from freedom. above have, have freed the cocoon a bit as it kind of drops a little bit lower. Now it's only 15 feet from the bottom. I highly oh. disagree with that plan, because then the spider could just wrap all around us as one. Kind of giving them a plate. Mm. Oh, no, Remishton. Silas, I... Another presence is trying to get control of you. Get to grab him. Someone grab him. I'm a gra <laughs> Everyone, dogpile him. Remishton, dog please. Dogpile him. Dog oh, God. Uh, are you, want, are you sure you want that one? Well, I think that it's just going to keep happening until it gets me, so I might as well let it. Okay, then. Well, Remishton, you uh, feel your mind being him. wrenched away from your control. As in, you involuntarily take out your battle axe and you turn toward one of your companions. Uh, oh no. You manage to somehow avoid. What's Blitz? Is that only when you're mounted? Blitz is when I move at least 20 feet before attacking and I'm using a spear sort of weapon, so it doesn't work with the axe. Gotcha. Okay. And how many attacks do you have? Two? Uh, two, yes. Okay. Yeah, roll me a con save, Silas, as Remishton embeds a battle axe into your shoulder. Remishton, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> you managed to keep this presence from using your maneuvers, but next time you feel like it might be able, it's understanding you better now, Remishton. All right. Yeah, well, um, Silas, you have to roll, you have to click that button for Constitution it's, save. Uh, constitution save, okay. Yeah, it's in the it's in the chat. You just click the dice, you'll roll it. Cool. Uh, I'm going to drink a yeah. potion of mind nice. reading. Or did you, wait, did you? Okay, yeah, you did. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Oh, uh, drinking uh, what? A potion of mind reading. Since my eyes are next to useless here, I'm going to see if I can detect this creature's thoughts. In order uh, to just post the description. Location. Or use it and post it in the chat. I'll tell you what happens. Dark Wolf, you feel more vibrations above you. Oh, what? Can Silas uh, cast Radiant Flame on this one over here? Swarm yeah, yeah, spider? sure. Oh, I'm fine. What? Just get rid of it. As Remishton feels another angry presence come at him. Remishton, please. I'm gonna take away his weapons. Someone take away his weapon. Dexterity saving throw? What? Why is, why is Dark Wolf dark having a I think dexterity saving throw? Targeting, he's targeting yeah. her. It's still targeting oh, him. Yeah, targeting yeah, just him. roll, the, roll the chat and then undo the damage. It's fine. It's you know, Obviously, you didn't target him. You got rid of the spiders. 
Uh, the small spiders. I'm feeling abnormally bloodthirsty, companions. If you do not pinpoint our assailant, I fear I may attack you. Yeah, this time you turn towards Silas. And now you, you attempt moving, to menace guys. her if you hit her. Um, 14 does not hit. Okay, I'm targeting oh. myself 18 now. 18 does right? not hit. That's it, though. No, an 18 is not hit. Um, I think the armor class is wrong. No, no, it's it's supposed to be 19 armor class, not 18. Why, of why my... is it 19? If Because of my... It's uh, it's my talent. Defense it's fighting called style. Medium Armor Master, so if you, oh. ha you had an extra AC, okay. as long as you have uh, a dexterity over 60, 16 armor. Yeah, so let me go to your armor. Let's check what your armor is at. Yeah. First of all, you have chainmail equipped, so it's not even medium armor. It's not medium? It's heavy. Oh. There <laughs> we go. I guess it does hit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Um. So I, I drank... I... Sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, I drank the potion of mind reading so that I get, uh, you know, the tech thoughts. And I'm trying to find... Uh, this creature. Yeah, you feel something. I'm going to tell you what you feel after Silas roll, roll a con save real quick. Oh, sure. Chain shirt is medium. It's chain mail. No, I'm just mail. notifying you. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, okay, you still managed to keep that bless going. And now you get menaced. So um, we're going to go ahead and use this menace ability. Roll me a wisdom save as you become afraid of your mission. Or maybe you don't. Nope, you don't become afraid of him. <laughs> well, like you My don't become friend, frightened of him. You still a bit, maybe a little bit afraid right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you detect thoughts. Um, you detect this thoughts. And um, there's a presence above you, many presents, and they all scream out brains. Okay, cool. Uh, Ramishton, Rem uh, hand your weapon to Silas. Uh, don't don't hesitate. Just hand your weapon to Silas and uh, run out of the room. Kind, please and um, thank you. There's a lot of them. Uh, I feel the very need well. To... It might be best if we simply set this place on fire after all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I agree. Should have done that in the first place. Uh, I take the weapon from our Okay, yeah, I give it to him. And uh, let's get to let's get to running. Let's, 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 okay, let's as you are running. going out of that room, uh, you see something question. emerge from this room. Question: and While they're starting uh, to run, would Iris be able to try it. and bite down? Would Iris be able to try and bite down the um, uh, cocoon of items? Yeah, you could go up there and try to reach it with Iris. She might get stuck. Well, she's she already get... stuck up there. Oh no, uh, she's out of reach. You can't. You can't possibly reach it if she's already stuck there. Okay. Is it too late to cast Healing Ward on myself? <laughs> yes, it is. I can do it for you um, so that you don't or, fail. No, sorry, I'm in here. But right. yes, you did. Um, Remission, you run out. Lucian, you're close behind. Yep, I'm right behind it. Uh, and. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, send this a little bit to combat. Please, everybody, feel oh, free oh. to to go. Uh, we are going to have all the kids on one combat tracker, so I'm going to get rid of some of them. Jesus. That's concerning. All on Alton. Okay, everybody has rolled, right? So now we're gonna begin. Cirque. Uh, has my roll appeared? Cirque. Yeah, you cannot see these spiders, by the way. So just ignore that they're not there. Uh. Well, oh, there. Uh, if if they're not there, then I. I'd assume one of my first things would be trying to like 
direct all the kids out and like prepare for anything that might be coming yeah you can ready in action and the kids are yeah you tell them to get out they they listen to you they're like i they're tell them the to pants, start running it already <laughs> already for an attack action for any hostile thing that i can see so first thing that shows up I'll so attack. you should shoot them with a bow is that what you're doing uh, yes, I have close quarters shooting, so even if they get close, I still yep. shoot like yep. normal. I, I see you. I also have no five problem. foot of blind sight. Okay, no problem. Right. So that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Alrighty. Does permission see the spiders? Do you see I the see spiders? a swarm of spiders right behind you, Lucian. We should continue I to may. flee. I don't see any spiders behind me. I'll keep going here. That swarm like, of we... tiny ones. Oh, those like, ones. If we okay. flee, then what's the point of coming all this way? Perhaps there's a different way. Out. That you see that cocoon uh, of magical absolutely. items there, dangling. A tactical retreat, if you would. I'm going to dash, and I forgot how to. How do I? Where's that button? What was that one? You don't know how to end your turn. Thing. Click no, here. I mean like, there was another like. Besides, I have the macro on right now, but there was like a way I could see my stuff on the bottom of the yeah, screen. Yeah, you have to go to your character sheet. So you open up your character sheet, and then yeah. you drag, click, and drag your item. So your, you know, your I don't know what I'm like long sword or short swords. Oh no 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 no! I I I, I was mean, I meant like I mean like there was another kind of menu on the bottom oh, screen uh, okay. besides yep, the macros. There's a shield in your inventory. There's a shield. If you have your shield grayed out, it's not equipped. If you have it kind of blackish, it is equipped. So you have to equip all your items for it to show up. Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll just the dash. I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and equip like some rations, water skin for you, just to show you what it will look like. On my turn there. Okay. Also, Silas, it's way better if we live and come back to try and grab the items later, rather than die trying to get nothing. That's true. Can I see the spiders? Oh. You cannot. You do feel yeah, their I presence shall. up there, the vibrations, it's obvious, right? Even seeing this happen, something's up there. You just don't know where. See, then I will get rid of these swarm of spiders by okay. attacking. Yeah, that's easy. Go ahead. That swing twice at once. Mm. It, it, that counts as one attack. Go ahead and do another one if you want. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. You have a plus, you have a extra 1d4, by the way. Oh. Uh, uh did you, do? who did you cast Bless on? I said Ortegon. You have, to, you have to target them yeah. and then press it. Ortegon, I tried Dark... to do that, but it didn't work. Who else? Uh, and then... With the G, I think. The Cirque? No, not Cirque. Uh, I typed it twice. Oregon, Dark Wolf, and who else? Rolling up. It was Nicholas. Is it Nicholas? No, no, it was uh, Oregon. No, it was Dark Wolf, Oregon, and Remishton. Yeah, Remishton, yes. So in order to target someone, you have to hover your mouse over them, press T. That'll target them. Then you go to the next person, you hover over them with your mouse, you press Shift and hold Shift, then you press T. That'll allow you to target both of the characters. Then you go to the next person, you press and hold Shift, hover your mouse over them, press T. So that'll target three people at the same time, then you activate your spell. Alright, uh... 
So Sil uh, Silas goes on your initiative, right? We should just get rid of her. Iris, yeah, she goes on mine. Yep. Did she do anything? Or no, you didn't. No. Yeah. Okay. She's got. She's she, trapped. She's her wing is stuck. Her wing is stuck up there. Yeah, she feels she very nervous. Who's next? She needs to free herself. Struggle. Is it the swarm? Yeah, the swarm hasn't gone. Okay. Uh, swarm bites you. Where'd he go? Misses. Done. The spider descends, triggering an attack, Zerk, if you want to. Yeah. Right. So, just... Spider back there? Okay. And with that, he draws uh, close to I you. Do attack twice? Nope, just once. Ready to attack, you can only do right. one attack. He is going to activate his ability. Oh. And using a giant stinger on his back, he will attempt to jab at you, Cirque. You must make oh. a constitution saving throw as the, as the potent neurotoxin spreads through your body after it hits you. Well, that's a fail. <laughs> oh. uh -huh. that, is, that definitely need... Uh, at the po the this potent is neurotoxin like spiders. Yeah, the potent neurotoxin disrupt disrupts your brain's control of your body, reducing your ability scores by one for all of your ability scores. Until and you take a little bit of poison damage every turn for two minutes. Uh, the reduction in ability scores is not removed until a spell or healer removes the neurotoxin. For example, protection from poison spell can remove the poison. This reduction can stack because he's attacking again. Oh, that's it. Oh my. Yikes. Time to fail again because I've got a minus one. Okay. Does Oof. a little bit of damage. And then what <laughs> yeah. happens is the, Goli the Goliath's flare goes back into the webs and out of sight. He was within, he, no opportunity attacks. He's within, he was, unless you have like a 10 foot weapon, he was 10 feet no. away from you when he attacked. He's done. Alton and the rest of the kids are terrified about what they just saw. Like, what the heck is this? Wait, could could the Goliath Slayer have taken an uh, opportunity attack from Nicholas? That, that's a good question. You were unable to unless you have a 10 foot weapon because the Goliath Flayer attacked from 10 feet away using his stinger. I see. So, like, from 10 feet up in the air? In like, yeah, 10 uh, feet up yeah. in the air. He lowered himself using some webs. Well, it seems my idea to burn this entire place was the correct one. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I've got to take them out of their element. All right. So they Agreed. run toward you, Remission, and they're like, a spider is over there attacking. And they run like the wind. And these spiders descend now. I think this guy's going to go toward uh, Mr. Dark Wolf. A uh, little bite. Miss. Okay. Down there. Silas, what do you got? My turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it moved. Okay, uh, I will cast uh, Guardian of Faith. Um, I'm going to put him right next to Lucas. Nicholas right here. So we could actually attack the Goliath spawn right over there. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm clicking on it, but uh, the thing seems. There we go. Guardian of Faith. Um, any creature hostile to you that moves to a space within 10 feet of the Guardian for the first time on a turn must make a dexterity saving throw. The creature takes 20 radiant damage on a fail. Okay. So, uh, just every time someone moves within 10 feet, just tell me, and then they're going to have to do the dex save. It's hard for me to keep track, um, but I will put it down a little thing for you. It's like a I'll put down a little... Ten feet, right? Right there. Uh, yeah. So it should be able to attack the Goliath Slayer. As well. Oh, you want you want it to be on top of the spider, like there? No, no, no. Just where it was, but it's within ten feet. The Goliath spawn is. Okay, gotcha. Feet, so. Sounds good. 
There it is. Nice. So, uh, it will automatically attack the Goliath spawn circ. Yeah, C could you uh, increase the volume of your mic? Sorry, is this better? Yep, better. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, no, the Goliath spawn circ needs to roll a dexterity saving throw. Any cre hostile creature to you that moves to a space within 10 feet, it didn't move there uh, prior to you uh, casting the, guardian, the spell. That's true, but the guardian spawned there, so... Yeah, that... but it didn't move into the space. So it needs to move in. Okay, then that's okay. the end of my turn. Okay, cool. um, hold on. Before you end your turn, Silas, uh, if you would... You still have movement. Uh, if you could get out of the room, or at least like use your movement to attempt to get out of the room, it would be much easier for me to, you know, attempt to burn the place down. Like if my allies aren't in in the place. I would, but I would have to disengage from the glass you, you, layer. No, they're they're like, they're like that. You can't even see them, so they're like you can easily yeah. get out of here if you want. They're oh, so the air. yeah, they're oh, in okay. the air, yeah, out, out of sight. Here. Okay, then I'll, I'll move right over here then. Thank you. Now, you can't even see the spiders. I mean, they could be anywhere. They could be here. They could be here. They could be anywhere. I see. I'll make it easier for you guys. Okay. Oh, I mean, I'll take them out of the map. I mean, I can vaguely sense them. <laughs> I, I can't see them, though. Yeah. You can tell something's up there. A right, whole lot ahead. of something. Only one you can see is that Goliath spawn by Cirque. Are you done, Silas? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Can you press the end of turn button? End of turn. Uh, turn. Where's... So Where there's a... Uh... The combat tracker oh. of the chat. Okay, okay. I think she doesn't there's have a her combat cross... tracker on. There's a pair of cross sword symbols by the little chat message symbol on the upper right corner of your screen. Uh -huh. Oh, you, here we go. If you click on that, you should see enter. Very good. Yeah, you can also okay, pull that you. up if you right-click it. You'll pull up a little tab by your... Uh, oh. That's also nice. pretty cool. Okay, so another guy descends from the webs above, and he this time he's looking a little bit interested at you, Nicholas. He's going to make a dexterity saving throw from going into the Guardians of Faith. It's dexterity saving, right? Yeah. Uh, he will succeed, Whoa. and Incredible. it deals half damage. Yeah, so he does uh, yep. takes ten damage. That's the most agile spider I've ever seen. And then Nicholas, incredibly agile. He tries to bite. They got him. eight legs. I mean, they're awfully agile. Okay, he's yep. done. Mission, your turn. Uh, the glass right. spider, the glass spawn must make a dexterity saving throw for the guardian angel that's there. Yep, he already did it. Oh, it's, yeah, Took he take damage 20. 20. Oh, okay, nice. Roll that fat nat 20. Yeah. Heard. Um, All right. I'm going to shout behind me to uh, Lucian, keep an eye on the children. You're in the front, so make sure nothing happens to them. Then into the room, I'm shouting... Clear out if you can. If you need me to join you, just say so. And I'm dodging. Nice. Okay. This group of spiders leaves. Uh, next is going to be... I think it's uh, is it Nicholas? Go ahead. Yep. Alright, cool. I'm going to... Uh, wherever the largest cluster of them I can sense is, uh, uh, I'm going to reach up and cast... The second level a flaming sphere uh just i since i can't see them you know i just like to use the largest aoe that i have okay and the cast flaming sphere up so i'm not gonna place the template i'm just yeah. gonna consume the spell yeah, ju yeah just uh just put, put it out there uh flaming spear five foot diameter sphere of fire appears in an unoccupied space within range so you start burning the webs i'm gonna say you don't hit anything well, you might. Roll 1d20. Alrighty. You directed it. It's going to set the flames. It's going to set the webs on fire. Uh, yeah, you hit one of the Goliath spawn. So let's say it does how much damage? 2d6? Roll 2d6. 
Uh, 2d6 plus 4. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. So they got. So the dexterity saving throw, they got a 19. You got. So they take half. They take 7. Some of the flames are on fire. Webs are on fire now. They're really pissed off at you. All right. I'm then going to. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm willing. I'm fully willing to. Do I have Way a to bonus go, action? <laughs> I, yeah, I have a bonus action. Let me see if I can use that as a bonus action. Uh, nope, it's an action. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to run. Uh, I can't, I know I'm going to take an attack of opportunity from the Goliath spawn, but I am just going to uh, flee. Okay, here's the attack of opportunity. Unfortunately. One. Nice. Very fast, but it seems a little too fast for its own good. I'm out of there. All right, and, and turn. Oh, hold on, something something just went wrong. The end turn button disappeared. Here, I'll help you out. I don't know why. Maybe it's some kind of glitch. Dark Wolf. Here we go. Yay. You get sneak attack. <laughs> right? That's a great sneak attack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Need to murder. <laughs> and I think that's about it. Very nice. Nicholas, you feel the spiders above you? move in your direction and it descend on you. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> they can't hit you. <laughs> and that's going to be it for this They're spider. Back. The other spider's going to descend right on you. He's going to bite back. <laughs> Oh, he has advantage, by the way. So if this doesn't hit, he gets to try one more time. More so they are at ground level then, is that right? Yeah, they are. They are down there. Okay. You see Nicholas but dodging for his life. Oh? Oh yeah. Uh, ooh, why is that not stacking? It should stack. Oh, it is. Okay. The poison I don't think stacks. So I think you're okay. Alright. Well, uh, so... Can I use my bonus action to have Iris try and break free of the webs? Yeah, yeah. Sure thing. Uh, any check you want me to make yeah. for to Roll only strength. Grind it? Or uh, athletics. I think her strength is better. No, they're the same. Well, that ain't, that ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't breaking free. Yeah, she ain't getting out. Alright, so I guess taking the attack action. That's a miss. Attempt number two. That's also a miss. Okay. You should be having advantage on that. Oh. Are you, are you attacking the one next to us? Yeah. Yeah, that should have been with an advantage. Oh, how do I do that? I don't think you were attacking the one next. Yeah, it, I'm... Or you were? Yeah, go ahead and roll, roll, yeah. uh, roll another attack with advantage. Press and hold control when you're pressing the attack. Okay. Weird that it's not doing that. Control. And that was disadvantage. Yeah, okay, press, uh, press alt. We'll, we'll count that one. Go ahead. Press and hold alt when you take it. Okay. Take a hit. There we go. That's well done. Okay. Uh, then I'll use Iris's reaction if I can to just add a little bit of extra damage. Sure. Alright, so 
Iris still targeting that and then using her reaction for infuse strike. Okay. Six extra cold yep. damage. Did you target him when you clicked it? Uh should be. You target him again, click it. Doesn't again. look like it. Alright. Okay, he's toast. There we go. Alright. Okay, he loses. End the turn there. I just forgot I'm muted. God dang it. Good job. <laughs> is this a walk is this a walkable surface? Uh walkable? Yeah, you can go around using that. You can kinda just scooch along. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. I see that thing now. Does that have cover if I'm in this position? Yes it does. Three fourths. Oh my that's a lot. Uh I'll still Make a spell. One moment, where did I put that? Here it is. Oh, it's oh there it is. Feel it uh, getting angry. You're a terrible spider. Please <laughs> attack somebody else. Don't attack me at advantage. <laughs> uh huh. That's the weakest insult I've ever thrown. It's an excellent insult. <laughs> Just smite the swarm. <laughs> wait, did I? I didn't. Wait, yes. no, I didn't. Well done. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Not, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I just I just used thunder spite. Yeah. So when you first activate the spell, do not target anyone. Oh. The spell will deal damage to the target <laughs> creature. When you hit someone with a melee attack, target them. So go ahead and use your melee attacks. If you. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I guess I'm killing the, the small sliders first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. It's still oh, business. It's still attack. business. Oh my God. <laughs> We're getting okay. rid of the damage. There honestly. it is. It hits. Well done. And uh, now you can add in. We already did the damage from Thunderous Spite, but uh, it's already. And deal nine damage. Well done. Deal some damage to it. That is a tough swarm of spiders. That is, the, the, you don't understand. This swarm of spiders is the biggest menace here. Oh, you have three attacks? Oh wait, no, I I didn't roll again. Did I? Huh, I, I didn't. All right, I didn't never mind. I'll, I'll just undo it. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I swear I didn't. Did he only anything. hit them once or hit them twice? He hit them once. Uh, the first one was from a well, premature has... activation of Thunder Smite. But it... if he has two attacks and he only hit them once, did one of his attacks miss, or did we just not roll it? Yeah, he it missed. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I missed it. My bad. Cool. All right. They bite at you a little bit, but uh, that's all they do. Um. Oh, a little con save. I didn't know you were concentrating on something. Uh, uh, yeah, that was the smite. Was. Oh, thunder smite. Gotcha. Oh yeah. The concentration you're already, you're breaks it, right? once you land hit. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just get rid of it. Not a problem. All right, so the live flayer is going to come on down. He's going to target the two Wait, people that are. He's uh, ten feet up. So if you, ha so Silas, you're going to be first on the menu. Wait, don't I have to make a concentration. Dear God, what was that? Already gone. Don't I have to make a concentration saving throw. No, you don't, because that the thunderous spite I think goes away as soon as you land a hit. Yeah. No, no, yep. it's it's uh, ten. It's a whole, it lasts for a minute. Oh, okay, until, yeah. Go ahead and cast it again. Whenever don't you don't land spend a, hit, a spell slot. It breaks it. What? what? 
when you land a hit, you end concentration. It's just for that first hit. Oh my god, really? Okay. Yeah, the first time yeah. you hit with a melee weapon attack oh, yeah. during the spell's duration, your weapon rings out. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, okay. So it does only last once. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Um, yeah, so the concentration is just for if you miss. That's how many times you have to miss before it goes away. Yep. Oh, so okay, okay. The Goliath spider descends down from the webs, jabs once at Silas, once at Nicholas, misses Silas, hits Nicholas, and then he goes back up. Does anyone have a 10 foot weapon to hit it? Negative. Nope. All right. Nope. The boys are scared. Silas. How tall is uh, Remy? How tall? How long is your? Uh, how was it that you use a pike? Or a I'm lance, a lance. A lance. It's two-handed. I've got my shield equipped. If anyone needs it, it's on Charger over there. And Chargers ran past the children. Yeah, Charger. We'll say the Charger is by the by the kids. I think I should be able to get it to you by next turn. Well. All right. Well, Silas is just going to cast uh, what's it called cure wounds on myself. Nice. Still have. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I still have most of my temp HP. Uh, did you target yourself? Ah, shoot! I didn't think I had to. Okay. Um. Well, I guess Can I, I'll just add it manually. You gotta learn how to target yourself eventually, but sure, you can add it manually. <laughs> how do how do I target? It's press it's an, you T, hover right? your mouse over your character. Press T on your keyboard. T. T as in Tony. Okay. Then you can click the spell. Then the spell cast spell. Okay, there we go. Nice. All right. Okay, that's my. I guess I'll move up here, and then that'll be my turn. Okay. 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 So the spider is going to go through your area, so I'm going to have to make a dexterity saving throw. He fails. He takes twenty damage. Aha. Uh -huh. And now he's actually gonna attack you and then he's gonna run up back up the webs so you can opportunity attack him if you want as he's on his way out after you make that con save indeed that is a hard bite Ooh, deals a quite a bit of damage as the venom spreads Make that con save, please. Wow. Um, yep, yeah, it's 24. Yep, you go. Just... Yeah, it did make the con save. <laughs> yep, just make the one, uh, the the, pre the last one. I don't know why oh, I did okay. it twice. That's, that's it should spider. be all at once. There was a oh. con save for the bite and a con save for her uh, concentration. Oh, I uh... see. Uh, why is it 22 damage? Is that because you succeeded on the other one? Oh, you succeed. Yeah, 24 and then 8. So you resist the poison, but unfortunately it breaks your concentration on Bless. Now you can do an opportunity attack if you wish. This spider is getting out of here. All right. I think I have to make an unarmed strike, right? I can't opportunity attack. Um, don't, doesn't Silas currently have the battle axe that Remission gave to him? Yes, you do. I do. I'll go ahead and uh, transfer that over to your... If that's all right, Remission, you can... Take it back later. Yeah, you can take the Dwarven Battle Axe out of my inventory. Yeah, I'll put it into your uh, your thing. Oh, you have a mace as well, apparently. Yeah, I think Dwarven Battle Axe is better, though. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. yeah please target spider. Ah, oh, shoot. Don't don't hit yourself. We're going to undo that attack. We'll <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. undo that. That's okay, we all forget to target. <laughs> yeah, it happens to the best of us. It does. Now I've targeted. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yourself. But it's fun. Yeah. Okay, well done. Good attack. 
And he's toast. Ah. Cool. The anger going towards you is, you is palpable. You whippersnapper can't get me. Come back here. <laughs> Attack somebody else. Leave me alone. I'm a backliner. I'm not supposed to be here. Bad mouthing a corpse that's currently twitching on the ground. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. Your mission, your turn. Disrespect the dead. Alright. Cypher, are you sure I should get my lance instead of helping you? It'll take me a second to get the shield off my arm. Um... If you want to hold your... Um... I can I can get you the axe. Uh, sorry, the, the lance. Uh... By either... By the, by the next turn. But if you, you... You can do what... If you have a... You know what? Let's hold off on that. Let's kill these uh, Goliath spawn first. They hit harder than they hit harder than I expected, and it might be best to. Uh, okay, move I'm risking an attack of opportunity from the one that's uh, next to that's right there, so I can flank. Uh, I am getting uh, the only weapon I have left: my stiletto dagger. Got it. He bites at you. He misses. You're free to go. Okay. Grab. Nice. Well done. Nice. Oh, it's not rolling with advantage. Um, yeah, feel free to just to roll... press and hold the alt button when you make the attack. You can redo it. Actually, it's going to hit anyway, so well, it might crit. Yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll redo uh, it. Can I just roll two d20s, and if one of the 20, then we'll not crit it? Sure, sure. That way, it won't have to, we won't have to mana subtract the damage. Yep. Okay, no critical hit. That was close, though. Alright. That's it. I'm gonna maintain concentration on the flaming sphere that's currently uh, incinerating the webs. Um, but instead of using my bonus action to move it around, I'm going to take... I'm gonna reach into my bag of holding and br br bring my homunculus out and use my bonus action to command it to retrieve uh, Remishtin's... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, he'll come out. He can't do anything this turn, though. By the way, I'm above the game. Game night. The problem is that I have to use my action to take my shield off. That's what I was asking about. I can grab the lance as I have yeah. action. Yeah, I know. I just rather I'd rather get that get the lance to you than have you have to uh, you know take that action go and get the axe later down the line. Oh, man, just carry me. on. Right. Cool. So, and the homunculus, uh, it moves oh, it's my a, it's it's it takes it after stuff. yours. Okay. It can move and cool. use its reaction on its own, but the only thing it does is a dodge action unless you take a bonus action to command it. Yep, um, and I just do bonus this. action right now to command it. Right, and then I go to. Speak the command sure. word and cast the uh, and summon my Griffin from the figurine of wondrous power as an action. I'm gonna throw the statue behind the Goliath to my right. Sure. Goliath spawn to my right. Okay. Uh, the creature this is friendly to you and your companions. It understands your languages and obeys your spoken commands. All right. That sounds good. That's um, behind the homunculus or behind the spawn. You want it here? Yep. That's correct. I'll just roll initiative for that guy. Okay. And this, uh, yeah, the Apunculus, it's after your turn, so he goes, he gets your lance, gives it Marishtin. Is that what you wanted? Uh, yep. Okay. Gives it the Marishtin, and that will be it. That I'll end my turn. Yeah, moving is be difficult. Uh, one of them has used its attack of opportunity. I'm going to move up here. Okay, sounds Still good. Threat range, but it's uh, flint anymore. And then I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Dark wolf. I 
Nice. Good Got hit. The... Oof, one spider down. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Oh. Them's the bricks. All right. Them's the bricks. Uh, with that, the spider is gonna disengage and go into the webs. So he's out of here. And if you guys don't do anything, the other spiders are gonna retreat as well. Uh, we are gonna remove. Can Silas opportunity attack uh, the spiders if they're within range? Uh, he he yeah. disengaged. Oh, he disengaged. Running scared. Okay. The swarm did as well. Oh no, the swarm is stupid. They're they're dead. Boop. Oh, that's a big griffin. I just saw it. Can you still sense that um, arch one? Uh, I'm gonna reach out with uh, detect dots. Can I still sense? The... You can. They're close by. All right. You gain. Everybody gains yep. a bit of experience for that. Please feel free to add it. I'm gonna remove the bodies. Boop, 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 and remove that, and remove that. Uh, yes, I can. They're still here. They haven't. They haven't uh, gotten back out. I believe it would be in our best interest to uh, remove to move the children back upstairs, if if before we come down here, because. Uh, if the thing is smart enough to learn to use uh, Ramishtin's abilities, it might be smart enough to realize just how important these four are to the sake of the mission and uh, begin focusing attacks on them. Hmm. Welby, point, Welby starts speaking. Hey, I hear something coming back from the direction that we came from. Oh, no. All right, people. Get ready. But it's pretty oh, far. Yeah, actually, and, uh, it... it seems like it's pretty far. Silas, would you give me my axe back? I might need uh, it. Yes. Uh, where are you? Oh, uh, question. Would um, Nick's <laughs> uh, flaming spear would have knocked down the uh, cocoon yet or no? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to say it's not in that know. area, but you can redirect it to that area if you want. I will. Okay. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep concentration up as long as possible on that sphere. Uh, right. just, uh, just burn as much of the web if you as start possible. burning the webs, and... it starts spreading and spreading around here. There's smoke filling the cave. The spiders are getting uh, skittery. Yeah, the magic weapons drop, and each of you in this adventure can pick one very rare magic item to, to have. Uh, let me go ahead and tell you what you find in there. Uh, here it comes. So where is it? Yes, you each get one very rare magic item, whatever you want. You can't use it yet because you haven't identified it. You have to go to town, identify it, unless you have like the identify spell. Even then, you would need to get, you would have to attune to it, and that requires a long rest. So obviously, you can't do that in here. Oh. Uh. So yeah, you get that very rare magic item. You can pick it later on. Um. Yeah, and uh, yeah, uh, Cipher, as you're trying this, you feel something in your mind. Oh yeah. no! Hey, uh, Ramishton, uh, hold me down, really. No, quick. you can't. You don't, up. don't have time to speak. Dog file, dog file. Please make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, nice. Nothing happens. Um, can uh, Silas look around to see if any of his other comrades are hurt? If there's what? Okay, so when I... Are any Sorry. of his other comrades are hurt? Are, are hers? Hurt. 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 Damaged. Injured. Oh, comrades? Yeah. I mean, you can see the health bars, you know. Where you're, you're a little bit wounded. Cirque is a little bit wounded. You can kind of hover your mouse over them and they'll you'll get an idea. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. They're not Ooh. that I'm going to I'm going to hand my bow and uh, what's it called and my hand yeah, axe. To... Iris breaks free after a while. It takes her a bit of time. Um, is Silas still poisoned? Uh, Silas oh, is yes. not poisoned, uh, but Cirque is poisoned. Is. 
It requires that we're. Oh, yeah. I will actually. Um, hold on. Protection once from poison. The, uh, once the fire, the fire that I started in the uh, in the webs is good and going, I'm gonna end concentration on uh, the flaming sphere, and I, I'm I'm going to cast a protection from poison on Cirque. Okay, sir, you can get rid of those effects. Let me just use the spell slots. And it looks like there. the fire isn't spreading as far as you would like. It looks like some property of the web, some kind of moisture in it that makes it vibrate. The tanginess of it is preventing it from going too far. But you certainly uh, scorch some of the nest in there. Which one do I get rid of? Both of them. Sorry, I'm still poison poison? And the poison effect, all of like all poison effects. Oh, all right, okay. and the, uh, even the stat decrease. Yeah, yeah, even the stack. Just to get rid of the effects, it'll automatically get rid of it. All right. Cool. Um, I'm gonna hand off my uh, bow and uh, hand axe to uh, uh, Reshmi Remishton, and I'm gonna say, uh, "Hope, please." Yeah, just like hold me down. As uh, Remishton goes to hold you down, he feels a presence in his oh, head. Remishton, you're gonna keep the line. Your most two most powerful attacks at Nic Nicholas. Go ahead and uh, menace him a little bit for me. Oh, he saved. He saved. Oh, okay, well done. But you wrench control of your body back. Well done. Never mind. I'll take my bow and axe away from uh, Remishton and give them to Silas. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna keep I going, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard something down there. As he points in the direction that Remishton and Lucian are charging toward. Uh, can I oh, cast have a meat uh, field, guys. healing ward? Uh, what's it called? Cure wounds on myself. You feel something in the air over there, and it goes away. That man. What do you do now? You can just add it to your things. Just add it. Just manually add it. I think. Okay. Hey, uh, guys. Uh, we have a meat shield. I think we should let the Griffin take point. Go ahead, go then go ahead then. Well, if given that it's No, oh, Randy wants to go first, I guess. <laughs> you Remeshton, you feel something descend down onto the griffin. You see it. It catches you quite abrupt. As another it, this is an uninjured version comes down. Targeting the There griffin. we go. Stings it, Griffin. That's a free attack. Griffin, go ahead and make that constitution saving throw. Okay. Gets hit with a poison. Okay, misses. And then he, this spider ascends back up. Now the poison's going to deal 1d6 damage every turn for 2 minutes. That means... Every six seconds, there's a turn. There's 60 seconds in a minute. That means 10 turns. So that means 20 d6. So in a couple minutes, he's toast. Hey, Dungeon Master. Wait, wait, um, wait. I was gonna. I, I was, you didn't. I was trying to say this earlier, but I did. I did. You hear me when I said that I took my shield off and equipped my lance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, make an opportunity attack. Okay. Okay, cool. That's all I was trying to ask. Yeah. Thank feel you. free. Feel free. I'll, I'll I'll even throw out a token for you. All right. Well, I'm. I won't throw I, uh, out a token, but I'll. Okay, you deal some. No, I cured your poison. Oh so. no, not precision attack. Ignore that. Okay. I didn't mean to roll precision attack. Go ahead attack. and re recharge that one point of maneuver. You can get that one back. But uh, I do want to use menacing attack on it. Yeah. That's yeah. what I would have used instead. Sounds good. Not blitz. Okay. So it's 23 damage, and I did use one. Yeah, 23 damage. You got it. There you go. Wow. On one hit. That means a martial powerhouse. Yep, I can see that. So, yeah, you do that, and now what do you do? What do you guys do now? Keep moving. Can I, I cast your wounds on myself? Yeah, of course. Anytime. You're <laughs> moving along, you can keep doing that. Gets poison. Okay, great. The Goliath Flare is no longer comes down for a little bit, but a different one I'm comes down from the rear. 
Yeah, it looks like these guys are in the middle. They're just scared. Who is in the back? Oh, Nicholas and si Silas. You're two, they're two favorites. Nicholas, I think they're it's going to like you the best. Because uh, God damn you, it. Set, you set fire to something precious to them. Um, Ortegon, if you would, uh, if you could cure the uh, poison on my griffin, there'll be more uses of meat shield if it's not. Now this this uh, this flare yeah. is apparently undamaged. The same flare that you fought just a while back. He's undamaged now for some reason. He descends within ten feet. He jabs you with the stinger two times. Poisons you. Jabs you again. Oh, oh the man. Agony. The agony. Ah! I love to run out. Okay. Double sting. And then he goes back up. If anyone has a 10 foot thing, they can hit him. A 10 foot weapon. Alright, yeah. From there, please Ooh. take it from there. Keep going, guys. Keep Wait, going. Is Nicholas, is Nicholas poison? Uh, cure uh, yeah. on hands. Oh, yeah, he just takes five five charges, right? Let me get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if anyone heard, but I say I, I cure all the poison people okay. like, a while back. Oh, man, you guys are going fast. Looks like the boys are going to left, get left behind. Speed running this place. I'm trying to move forward and keep up. Remission, you feel a presence in your head. They really like you. Please. If you succeed, great. If you fail, please deliver Definitely two attacking big me. attacks to your friend Lucian over there. Go ahead and menace him a little bit for me. No. <laughs> oh dear. Here we go. I'm gonna roll these attacks. Are, are you oh, gonna, I do are have you disadvantage. Gonna, you could. You oh. could spend inspiration if you want. No, I'm just going to attack. I, I'm using a land that has disadvantage, however, it will probably still hit. Okay. Uh, not advantage, but disadvantage, so it's a natural one. Okay. Um, is there a way to roll with disadvantage instead of advantage? Yeah, control. yeah, you just press and hold control when you attack. Um, just undo uh, the, so well, well, the damage. Undo the damage, undo the damage, you're fine. Okay, okay. Why, why did you take... Um, oh, I think it's because I need to I turn temporary. off and yeah, back. Got, give it back to you. Okay. Is there a way to turn off Mounted Combatant without getting rid of it since I'm not currently uh, yeah, go to active? Yeah, go to Effects, and then there should be a little I'm looking X, at it. I just... uh, disable Effect is what it's called. Oh, so the X won't delete it. Okay. Yeah, it won't. It'll just make it inactive. Sweet. Hell yeah. Thank you. Um, Here we go. Second attack. And this will hopefully work. Uh, you said ult was disadvantage? Yeah. I think so. Control. Or control, I'm not sure which one. It's control, it's control. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll roll one more time if that one hits. I hope that doesn't hit. Uh, it's general, so control I think, I think it does hit, so go Let's ahead and do it again. Ow. Um, okay, I think I rolled twice and both of them hit. Alright, so you take a little damage there, nine damage. Oh, and let me roll minus an attack. Um, it didn't, I didn't do it. Let me do that. Yo, Watch I'm this. Starting to... I'm oh, starting perfect. to think that portal is looking pretty good. And he takes one d uh, five additional damage. Yep. Ow. Just get that mount into the open. Go ahead, minus that from your. Uh, actually, yeah, I got you. I got, okay, I got cool. it. I got it. All right. All right, everybody. What do you do now? Keep going. It's gonna keep going. Okay. As you emerge into this white chamber. You know, the ceiling is much higher in this chamber, and you feel the presence disappear. You see that southern passage, the one that you blocked? What do you do now? That's the plan, guys. Cool. Uh, the the foundry's currently oh, lagging, so I can't. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's 11.19. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back. You guys can strategize a bit. All right. Sounds good. I'll be back in. 
What what is a quick break? Oh, uh, just like uh, we take a break minutes? every hour, bathroom break, that kind of stuff. 